Paul Dano was cast just as Paul Sunday. Now, Paul Thomas Anderson loved him in a previous film he was in. Actually, he co-starred in a film with Danny Day-Lewis, which was directed by Day-Lewis' wife, Rebecca Miller. And Paul Dano played supporting actor in that film. Now, he cast Paul Dano as Paul Sunday, a very small role. He imagined Paul Sunday to actually be a young boy, but he liked Paul Dano so much, he was like, I'm going to change the role and make it be a slightly older character. Paul Dano, I'm guessing, was probably 18, 19 at the, state, at the, at the date of filming this film. And so the film was called, I'm sorry, hold on, what was it? The Ballad of Jack and Rose. Dan Day Lewis, Paul Dano, um, Rebecca Miller directed it. So nice uh, little uh, independent film. And so that was, Paul, that was Paul Dano's role. Paul Sunday, that one scene, that's it. And the scene where he sells the information to Daniel Plainview for the information for Little Boston. That was it. And now another actor was actually cast as Eli Sunday named, named Kel O'Neill. Kel O'Neill played Eli Sunday for two weeks of principal photography. Two weeks of shooting with Daniel Day-Lewis. And he ended up backing out of the film. A little, there's a little drama and rumors going around. Many said in the media that he was intimidated by Daniel Day-Lewis's intensity and habit of staying on char- in character on and off set. That was BS. Anderson, Day-Lewis, and O'Neill all denied this claim. This is just the media getting clickbait. Day-Lewis said, I absolutely don't believe that was the case, that he was intimidated by me. I happen to believe that, and I hope I'm right. And Kel O'Neill, the man himself, also says that he he also dismissed this claim, and he said that he came to the conclusion of leaving the film because of his poor working relationship with Anderson and his own disinterest in acting coming twofold. And so he left the production. Now, Paul Thomas Anderson... In the middle of production, had two weeks worth of shooting. He couldn't work with it. He couldn't use it. It was unusable footage. There's really no way around this. So as a way to make up for this, they had no time to cast anyone. They said, he said to himself, what if I make Paul and Eli identical brothers and use Paul Dano as Eli for the rest of filming? I'm sure he was impressed with what Paul did on set and said, I bet he can handle this. And so he ended up casting Paul Dano in the next role of Paul Sunday. And then they reshot those older sequences that they filmed over two weeks with Paul Dano. And then Paul Dano finished out the rest of the film as Paul Sunday. Paul Dano only got four days of notice before he had to... Two days. Only two days of notice before he had to start filming opposite the greatest actor who ever lived. So I'm sure that was an extremely daunting task. And I will say, Paul Dano, I think, did a terrific job considering... The, ent- the incredibly taxing and, I'm sure, intimidating process of working with Daniel Day-Lewis with only two days' worth of notice with such a juicy, meaty role. I really love his performance as Eli Sunday. And I think it's a terrific uh, opposing force for Daniel Plainview. Yeah, they are such a great pairing of characters to go against each other. And the mystery of who Eli Sunday is on a first watch of There Will Be Blood is terrific because we are introduced to Paul like we talked about earlier, he has this information of land that has oil, his home, and he's trying to sell that information. Basically, could be false, could be true, to Daniel Plainview, gets 500 bucks, points out Little Boston on a map, and that's when H.W. and Daniel take their trip to the Sunday Ranch, where he meets, they meet Abel and his family. Abel. And then, Abel, you stupid man. Stupid son to a stupid <laughs> father. Abel. <laughs> Killed my throat. And who brings them wood for their fire while they're camping for quail hunting? None other than Eli Sunday, who when you're watching this movie, you're like, was he conning them? Does Is it him? And then we realize they are identical twins. This is not... A rumor. This it's, person has never met them before. It's not a theory. Yeah. They are, this is fact. They are really identical twins. No matter what you hear on the internet or see online, they are twins. They are separate people. They're like me and Anthony. PTA just doesn't like to use too much exposition. He doesn't hold your hand while you're watching his movie. We don't need Daniel to go, hey. Well, obviously, they, they don't want to reveal, don't reveal yeah. that they know Paul. But They don't say also, it to themselves. They're not like, whoa, whoa, he looks just like that guy Paul. You think they're twins? They just look at each other, which is great. And then we learn so much about Eli, and he becomes such an incredible character. And these two butt heads, because they are the exact opposites of the same coin, and they have so many similarities. 
as well as differences. You know, throughout this entire film, Eli is trying to be an equal to Daniel. And he himself is a reflection of Daniel Plainview. They both have this gift of speaking. 